my name's Matt Cole and I'm a marine biologist from the University of Exeter and Plymouth Marine Labs in the UK. We've teamed up with the Rosalia project to look at microplastics in the marine environment. Because microplastics are so tiny and the ocean so vast, we have to use specialist equipment called a Neuston net to collect the microplastics from the sea surface. On the American Promise, we deploy the Neuston nets using the spinnaker pole. This is a special pole that is attached to the main mast and comes at right angles to the boat, leaning out over the seawater. The Neuston nets are suspended above the sea surface until they're ready to be deployed. A tow line is attached to each net. This is so the net can be brought back on board following the trawl. Once we're in position, the nets can be lowered into the water. Doing a Neuston net trawl involves a lot of teamwork. We need a helmsman to keep us going in the right direction, a lookout to stop us crashing into buoys, a navigator to make sure we trawl for exactly 250 metres, a recorder to write down our speed, distance and location, and four people to help lift the Neuston nets into and out of the water. Neuston nets come in different shapes and sizes, some with circular and some with rectangular openings. Neuston nets are partially submerged in seawater, and this means that they can collect the water at the sea surface itself, and this is where many microplastics reside. The Neuston nets can also capture very small animals that live within the ocean, called zooplankton. Our finest nets can even capture tiny, tiny little plants that live within the ocean called phytoplankton. Sometimes these are so numerous that they weigh the whole net down and it becomes submerged. For the research we've been doing with the Rosalia project, we're doing tows of about 250 metres. Once the tow's complete, we haul the nets out of the water and bring them back onto the boat. Everything collected by the net ends up going into the cod end, that's the small plastic container at the back of the net. We can then remove the cod end and pour its contents onto a very fine mesh. We can then rinse the cod end and again pour it back onto the mesh to make sure all of our sample is retained. When large items of debris like seaweed are found in the sample, we put on gloves and then wash down that seaweed using a squirt bottle. And this makes sure that any microplastics present are retained within our sample. We can then flush through our sample using clean fresh water to make sure that any salt is removed. The final stage is to remove the fine mesh that has retained the sample, fold it inwards neatly and then it's placed in a food desiccator for 24 hours to dry out the sample. This allows it to be sent back to England where we're going to be analysing it under a microscope to try and work out how many microplastics the sample contains.